Hi, ladies and gents. Thanks so much for taking the time to come check out my channel for the interest in the channel, especially taking the time to subscribe and liking the videos and for all that you do to help this channel get out to others, the shares and everything. Thank you so much. Infrared camera. Well, we're going to go with the infrared camera because mine is 32 weather, some beautiful, um, uh, I guess this one wanted to stop by and say hello, tell me that not to worry, Bruce, some sky objects are coming <laughs> on the way. And there's one now. It's a lot further away or smaller than that one that I got, which I will show you right after this one. Uh, remember, the big object coming into um, Earth's atmosphere, I was ever so lucky to be able to, to catch that. So we're looking at it here slowly as it's going by. So it is something that caught on fire. It's something, it could be debris. It could be a meteor. Um, all the crap that they're talking about with, uh, um, well, yeah, Russia, China, and the states, I assume, do their part in putting a lot of garbage out there in the sky. And listen, when you look up in the sky, you film all night, and this object is not an object you're going to see very, very commonly. It's it's It takes a while to see them, right, unless it's a meteor shower night, obviously. So we just quite simply um, changing the color filters here so we could see um, it interacting as it arrives. And you can see it there catching on fire. It's an object that is streaking a light in the sky. And this was just a day ago. So I said, I'm going to film that and get it up. I do want to go see um, the other one that I did get, which was coming in across and straight. It was beautiful. I was actually very lucky to get it because you see, usually we only catch these on the corners, right, of the image because they're hard. Um, you, can, you there's no way of knowing when it's going to hit, when it's going to come in. It's it's too quick, right? This object, um, I was able to capture it and watch it come down to the moon. So there are a lot of objects that come down to the moon. Are there objects that Elon Musk and NASA or doing launches and that's debris falling to the moon who knows maybe there's someone there uh doing their own launches on the moon but when you see this object going by you're like whoa wait a minute there this is a legitimately an object maybe even several objects here's the one that i got um wow in 2021 now hey eh? the life life is going ahead quickly it's a beautiful one it's a nice close uh, capture or again it always comes down to its relative size but it wasn't small and you can see it there entering in perfect view we see it come in and we see it fizz out or disappear whether it be something that burned up or not let's head over to see the sun and then we're going to go see a couple of other things on the moon thanks for watching everyone
Well, that explosion um, that happened here in Tonga, did you see that? Underground, undersea volcanic eruption. It was pretty drastic as being compared to Hiroshima. What are these patches everywhere? I want everyone to know that there are patches. Whether they're hiding the structures that are around this crater, Biancini, I don't know if you noticed all the details around that crater. It's a very interesting crater. The craters look like they were formed by constructed objects, and so do the sinus iridum mountains. Isn't that ridiculous to declare? I'm just visually um, sharing what I'm visually seeing. Why is there a pile of dirt at the end of two lines? Come on, guys. They're producing something up there industrially, right? It's an industrial environment up there on the surface of the moon. That's, that's how I look at it. Here beside Aristarchus Crater in that little white gray circle in the center, you can see a lot of elevation and objects. But these objects have the same reflectivity as the surface, and they're near impossible to see, but not impossible to see. That's always the way I say it. They're right there, and there's a hell of a lot of them, whether they're setups for electricity or not. When you look at this crater that has a clear 90-degree angle twice, it cuts and turns twice, has dirt, again, coming out of a line, or it's buried over a structure to hide it, but you could clearly see it, and there's no filtering there, you know. Sometimes I see these incredible lights and they're large, they're stationary, they're lighting up on the surface. So there are massive um, either electrical or chemical fires. I don't know what it is, you know, fusion, fusion, it's fusioning. Looks like a star sometimes, certain areas on the surface are like fires and you wonder, what they are, and they're all very, very real. They're not easy to see. They're small to see, and sometimes the flashes occur quickly, and you have to slow down the footage, and that's what I'm trying to do to share all this cool stuff with you all. And what, are they chemtrailing the moon, or is there really, really um, someone uh, you know, doing something to the atmosphere around the moon? Well, we can, uh, once again, visually say yes if we look at these objects that we see. What do you think of these objects from the STS-75 mission that are coming in out of nowhere? Let me tell you something. The screen was empty a second ago, and now it's full. Watch how fast it fills up. There's the tether. Watch objects start appearing. Watch quickly. Everywhere, all around the tether. They appear and disappear. Watch how quickly hundreds, if not thousands, of biological creatures appear in the screen around the tether. You see that? There was nothing in the screen a second ago, and now all these objects are, you know, are appearing. Guaranteed that NASA was filming them, probably wondering, what the hell am I filming? Or they're just filming what they always film outside the environment. Maybe, the, would you think that that's what NASA um, NASA's supposed Apollo 11 astronauts would have seen as they were floating around the atmosphere, all these lights, right? Look at them all, and look at them appear and disappear. Are they coming in from portals? Because that's how I believe the whole universe is probably made up. Watch how quickly they appear, my friends. Seriously. Look, there's like a handful of them. Watch what happens. I'll speed it up a bit more, too. Seriously, look at them all arriving. Are they examining the tether? See them all arriving? There was nothing there, and then all of a sudden, they're all there. So they, either either they can make themselves invisible, or they're really appearing out of nowhere. Like bioluminescent creatures. We can see one very, very well here. A second one very, very, very well. They look like those space jellyfish, right? Just like a flat sort of mushroom-like sheet. That's, that's, that's incredible. It really does look like a jellyfish. And what's, what's that one doing in the center there? Pulsating as you see it going by. It's pushing out from the center and it's propelling itself. They can stop themselves. They can propel themselves. They can change directions. They appear and disappear in space. The most beautiful thing that they're hiding from everyone. Imagine knowing that. Imagine the students in school that would want to become astronauts and work in space, finding all that out. Yeah. Well, 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for subscribing. Much more on the way. Minus 32 here. And plunging. Cause the slow's just coming soon Cause the slow's just coming soon